Okay guys, topic for today's video, how to save money fast. Now I'm always constantly asked, how do I get to go on all these adventures that I get to go on, I get to cycle across countries, how do I do it, how do I save money? First disclaimer for this video is that if you don't want to change anything in your life, then just stop watching the video because you're going to have to make some changes in order to save more money in your life. So I'm going to break this one down into four different segments. We're going to break it down into accommodations, transportation, food and consumables, and the stuff that you have in your life. I fully believe if you follow the law of attraction, you can basically attract all the money that you want into your life. But the tips that I'm going to give you, the, the habits that I've incorporated in my life, not only improve my health, but also allow me to save money and free up a lot of mental energy in my life. Accommodations is typically the biggest monthly expense that most people have. So if you're renting a room or apartment, can you source out a cheaper room or apartment or a cheaper house that you're renting out? Maybe it could be somewhere in the same city, but maybe in not as much of a luxurious area. House sits are one of the best ways to actually reduce your overall expenses. House sits can be anywhere from a few weeks to half a year or even to a full year if you find the right one. Usually the deal with house sits is that you look over the house, you take care of the house. Typically, you, you sometimes have to look after animals as well, but the thing is that you don't have to pay rent you, and typically you don't have to pay any of the bills either. So it just slashes your base, it slashes your expenses by so much. Now I understand that, you know, putting your money into something like a home is really good because you're going to get a return on your investment. But at the same time with your mortgage, your bills and maintenance costs, owning a home can be really, really stressful and can be really expensive over time. So it would be up to you what is going to be the best choice for your accommodation situations. Do you sell your house? Do you move to a new place? Do you search out for a house sit? If you have a very transient lifestyle, you don't have a lot of stuff, house sits are great. You can also check out sites like HelpX for while you're traveling and couchsurfing.org as well. Transportation is another huge expense for most people out there. Cars and vehicles are basically the biggest money suckers that you can own. So the main expenses that, is, that you're going to incur while owning a car is going to be the payments for the car, petrol, maintenance, insurance, registration, and traffic tickets. And all those can be huge money suckers. Riding a bicycle will save you so much money. And on top of saving you so much money, it will obviously cut fat off your body and will improve your fitness and health. You can take your bicycle anywhere in the world with you. You can just throw it on a plane, take it anywhere in the world with you. It's how I get across countries is by bicycle. I understand that there are certain logistical situations where you might need a vehicle. Maybe you have two vehicles and you can cut down to one vehicle and commute by bicycle for you know half the time. That's going to save you a lot of money as well. The other thing with bicycles is that you can buy a trailer for them. So if you want to do your grocery shopping or you want to run errands, you have something that you can basically put all your belongings in or uh, all your groceries in while you're shopping. The other obvious thing with riding a bicycle is that through a lot of parts of the world, there's snow on the ground for many, many months of the year. So my recommendation would be to A, move to a place where you can ride your bike all year round, or B, just use public transportation for those months of the year that you can't ride your bicycle. Ditch the car in your life, ride your bike. Easy enough. Food and consumables. This is going to be the hardest one for people to actually make the changes in. I, can, I already know right now because people take basically the food they eat and the consumables very, very seriously. What I recommend, no coffee, no alcohol, no smoking, no recreational drugs, and no eating out. If you eliminate those five things from your life, Think about the amount of money you're spending on those things. It is incredible how much money that we actually spend on consumables like that. Not only is it going to save you a lot of money, but you are going to feel a whole lot better if you cut those things out from your life and you live a lot more of a sober, natural life. Adopting a whole foods plant-based diet is going to save you a lot of money and it's going to really, really improve your health if you're living on a meat and dairy-based diet right now. I recommend picking up the starch solution by Dr. John McDougall. That gives you basically a blueprint for how to eat a whole foods plant-based lifestyle. Meat and dairy are really, really expensive foods. So the more that you cut those out of your life, the better your health is going to be and the more money that you're going to have in your pocketbook. My recommendations for food shopping, buy food in bulk, buy boxes of fruit, buy boxes of whatever that you want to eat a lot of. Make sure you're buying big bags of rice, big bags of any types of grains that you want to eat. Make sure you're shopping at organic wholesalers or, you know, just farmer markets where you're going to be able to basically 
have a real connection with the people that you're buying from. So I try to stay away from supermarkets as much as possible and try to actually have a real connection with the people that I'm shopping for. Consequently, you can actually get really, really good deals if you know the people that you're always shopping from because they know you, they're going to give you the good deals whenever they have them. When you're buying in bulk, it gives you buying power as well. So that's why I recommend buying in bulk. So you can actually, you can haggle on prices a lot. I do this all the time when I'm buying bananas. I buy 10 kilos of bananas, usually for $10, which normally they would be about 20 to $25. But since I'm buying so much at once, I can use that to get more at once. Last section here, sell all the unnecessary stuff from your life. Sell all of it. Get rid of it. If you haven't used something for six months, there's probably a good chance that you don't even need it in your life. Let's remember from Fight Club, the things you own begin to own you. And that is true in so many people's lives. If you have a lot of stuff that you need to sell, get on sites like Gumtree, Craigslist, Kijiji. Get on sites like those and just start selling your stuff. Get rid of it. Have garage sales. Get, as, get rid of as much junk that you don't need from your life as possible. And if you need to buy, if you need to buy clothes, check out op shops, check out Sal uh, Salvation Army stores, check out all those stores that you can get really, really good deals on clothes and, and sometimes even furniture as well. And go with those things because typically secondhand is just as good as new and it's a lot easier on the environment if you're always buying secondhand. Ditch the expensive personal care products. Ditch them, get rid of them. They're toxic to your body and they're really, really hard on the pocketbook as well. The only personal care products that I use is I use soap sometimes on my body if it's really, really dirty. I use a toothbrush and I use an electric trimmer to shave my face. That's it. I don't use shampoo, conditioners, cologne, toothpaste, deodorant, disposable razors, shaving cream. I don't use any of that stuff on my body. Not only are most of those products really toxic to your body, but they're really, really expensive to keep buying all the time, especially for women. And if you're a girl, tr ditch the makeup or wear very minimal amounts of makeup. You might be thinking, ah, oh, you must stink like shit all the time, vegan howler. Not the case. I eat a very high carb, a very clean diet that's really low in fat and low in toxins. So one of the reasons why your body smells is typically from the foods that you eat and the things that you're putting on your body. So if you're constantly eating meat and dairy, that meat is actually putrefying within your colon, within your bowels. That's why you have bad breath, and that's why your farts smell so bad. That's why your armpits smell so bad as well. If you do have to use some products, because I understand some people just can't get rid of certain products from out their life, that's fine. Shop for vegan, shop for handmade, shop for organic products that you can. They're going to be a little bit more expensive, but if you're going to use less of it, then it might be cheaper in the long run. Okay guys, so I've laid out a pretty serious blueprint here. I don't expect you to make all those changes in a day or a week or even a month. Something that's going to take time. But I've laid out all my very best tips here for saving the most amount of money so that you can put that money towards the adventures that you want to do in your life so that you can go on a four or five month adventure and not have to worry about working at all during that time. It's absolutely amazing. You know, I traveled through Southeast Asia for four months by on a very, very small budget because I was spending so little, but I was able to save up a lot of money beforehand because I followed all these tips that I'm basically telling you right now. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely uh, leave your questions or comments below. Like or dislike the video. Subscribe to the channel for more Unreal tips in the future. Peace out.